Hey, this is Matt from AI Lab Zone, and today I'm going to be showing you how to create high quality logos using Midjourney and Photoshop's new AI tools. So, if you're like me, and if you're an entrepreneur, you have a lot of businesses that you create, YouTube channels, then you're probably making a lot of logos on the regular. This method I'm going to teach you is going to save you a lot of time and it'll give you a really high quality logo that's a lot better than some of those logo generators out there. So to begin with, let's go over to Mid Journey. So in Mid Journey for my prompt, it's just a very simple um, prompt logo for an AI YouTube channel called AI Lab Zone. So let's uh, get some different logo options here. And just a note on the prompt, you can be as, as specific and detailed as you want to be. For me, I'm just doing this, uh, just a, a more broad, um, broad prompt, just to see what, what happens. So this is the logo that was generated from Midjourney. So this is the one that I really liked. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and save this and um, open it up into uh, the new Photoshop uh, beta software that I was able to get access to. So uh, I don't think everybody has access to this. Um, but I got access to it and it's really cool. There's some ge uh, generative tools that you can use um, that will save you a ton of time. So in this particular instance, uh, just like in all mid-journey um, genera generations that, um, that come out with text, the text is just going to be a bunch of you know, garbled nonsense basically. And um, so what you want to do is you want to, you, you typically as someone that uses photo Photoshop a lot, I would stamp this, these, uh, these letters out and um, put in my own text, but, with, uh, but that typically would take a, a bit of time. Um, and so with the new AI uh, generator uh, tools in, in Photoshop, you're able to just take it out within a matter of seconds. So let me go over to the selector tool here, and I'm just gonna select all of this text right here. And once I select it, there's a button that comes up that says Gener Generative Fill. So if you click on that, it'll allow you to describe something that you would like to replace this with. But for me, I just want to take this text out. I don't want to replace it with anything at this point. I just want to take it out. So just hit Generate. So this is what Photoshop came up with. Uh, so over here to the right, you can see that you can choose some different options for that background. Uh, but it's really, really nice. Like I said before, that would have taken a long, lot longer than just a few seconds. Um, this makes it a lot easier. So I'm just going to select um, maybe this middle one. I kind of like that uh, that design. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to go over to Font Space and find a font that I like. Um, so I typed in tech fonts, and these are the ones that came up. Um, I usually will go to commercial use. Um, I'm just cheap in that way. If you wanted to, to purchase a font, then feel free to. I'm just trying to make a font as, as cheaply as possible at this point. So uh, for this, I'm just going to select one. Maybe this Astro Space looks kind of nice. Uh, and then I'm going to install that on my computer. I'll just go back to Photoshop here. And um, I'm going to just select the text and write my text in. Uh, first, let me select my font that I just chose, and then I'm going to type in my uh, my logo title. So I'm putting this on two lines. Uh, so AI Lab Zone, and then just put it in, and you've got yourself a brand new logo. Um, you know, you can kind of mess around with it, maybe add a drop shadow or or something, whatever you want to do. Um, but this is this is a logo that took me literally. Uh, just a few minutes to make, uh, whereas if I would have done this manually, it would have taken a lot longer. So if this is helpful to you, make sure to like and subscribe to this channel. And um, if you have a different method, I'd love to hear it. I'm always looking for new ways to use artificial intelligence to make my life a lot easier. So if you have any ideas of uh, ways to do this easier, let me know in the comments. Uh, and also, you know, is this helpful to you? Uh, let me know if if you want to see something else along these lines, and I will uh, catch you again next time. Thanks.